quickly sign off um, on the no not in Seattle. Let me tell you this. I feel, I've had people where I've seen them, you know, in the park, kids playing or whatnot. And I say, what's up, black man? <laughs> what's up, queen? Whatever, you know, whatever the saying is at the time that comes to me. And, you know, we start talking and I tell them how Seattle is like the get out and um, how, you know, some folks need to be flashed some black folks need to be flashed. And I've had women and men say, hey, thank you for saying something because it is cold out here. But I'm thinking you're thanking me for saying something just because I'm a loud mouth and I like to talk. and I'm not scared of nobody or no one's reaction. And I know Seattle's non-confrontational. Even when it's confrontational, it's non-confrontational. They don't want no smoke um, unless it's on the corner and they can inhale it. But the, you're part of the problem if you don't say something, if you don't acknowledge somebody. So don't just thank someone like me who's a loud mouth. Say something, acknowledge people, look at them. You know, don't just look away when you see them. Um, you see a lot of that. I see a lot of it even at the um, local store. Um, that I go to. It's like the two black folk that work there in the um, area, the, you know, the deli or whatnot. It's like they can't acknowledge black folk. Um, one woman refuses, whether I'm with my kids or lonely, she will go the other way. Um, you know, the butcher, he'll say something. He said something when he had his buddy with him. And, you know, but it's like people are in la la land. It's the get out, you know. And, and so if you like that, though, this is the place to, to come. If you like where, you know, you don't have to talk to anybody and you don't have to acknowledge anybody and it's a safe place, um, fairly clean, then that this is the place for you. I just know that my my time is um, ticking time <laughs> bomb. It's like time to go because I like talking to everybody, but I like talking to my black folk and building because black folk have put me on. Black folk have helped me out. Black folk have, you know, really given me an opportunity to be an entrepreneur and push. And, um, you know, I've had help from many others, but black folk is something about, you know, you pulling your brother up just like people do in every culture. It's just, it's almost like it's natural to, you know, pull someone up that you like, that you can relate to and reflect to, you know, so that's that help out a brother, give a brother a nod. There's no nod in Seattle, but give a brother a nod. You know, we know big cities can get, you know, real lonely, but acknowledge your brother so your brother doesn't smother you with uh, hate. And we're going to kill the madness with love. But man, I'm signing off again. No filter. No nod in Seattle. Cash again over here with a quick little rant, whatnot. It's killing. And it's kind of funny, um, actually, this one, because this one is about no nod in Seattle. I've had guests all the way from Massachusetts, down south, everywhere you can think of internationally. And black folk are always shocked. And I rarely ever tell any of them there's no nod in Seattle. There's nobody who's going to see you. You know, it's black folk. You can look directly at someone and they won't even acknowledge you. And it is a part of that Seattle free. It's part of that culture. Everybody too busy, not concerned, are on their phone and so i had to do a quick little video to talk about that because one of my um guys came out here one time team members um one of the brothers the familia whatnot and he said man nobody's giving me the nod and i said brother you're not gonna get it out here these folks are either too good not concerned whatever the case may be there's no nod in seattle and so Seattle is known as a cold city, and it may be something in the water. It may be something in all that faux and fa that people are eating that, you know, they just think is so good. And if they never had it before, they think that soup is so good. You know, folks will say, I'd rather have that over some ribs or something. And they'll be from the South, and you're like, what? You're tripping. But, um... There's no nod in Seattle. You will probably get a, a nod and an acknowledgement from somebody not black <laughs> a lot of times wanting to speak to you because there's not a lot of black people in Seattle. And when people do see them, it's usually, you know, they, they see us as the homeless or the help. But 
there's no nod in Seattle. And so you, you, if you ever visit here, if you're thinking about moving during the summer, it does. It's beautiful times, not a friendly place. And you have to really be a transplant or have lived somewhere else to really um, discover that. Because if you were born here, bred here, you really don't know the difference. I mean, when we tell black folk from here, Seattleites from here, they're like, oh, we've heard that. But, you know, this is Seattle because there's no real black community. It's not strong, much infighting, so much. Um, this person slept with this person, this person, you know, talked bad about this person from when they were at Garfield or <laughs> at one of the local high schools. It, it's kind of silly. And it's the reason why there's no community and no unity. Plus a lot of, you know, in, in most cities, and I've lived in, in here that are supposed to bridge the community. It's all, it's a money play. You know? They'll do it for the money and they'll make it seem like it's for the community. But even when it's for the community, it's for the money a lot of times. Not everybody. It, it's just, you know, it's one of those, there's money in numbers, especially when I'm still alive and you can have a government agency who work very slow, but they can try to do something. But once they bring it to black folk out here, um, it's about, you know, how do we spread the pie? I mean, everyone wants to know if you're having an event, how they can eat off that event, which, you know, if there's money on the table, let us all eat. But sometimes good people who are doing things in the Seattle area who they can't even get a leg up or any help. Um, recently, there was a job fair. Um, a brother, you know, he couldn't get any help, but he's constantly asked to sponsor some things. And I know it's true. Um, and, and it's just interesting. And, you know, I'm going to focus just on the nod in Seattle because there's a lot of other things that people say, well, you know, Seattle is whitewashed and this and that. Now, nah, let's focus on the nod. Let me tell you, I'm from, I'm going to nod my brother up just so he don't shoot me up. You know, wherever I go, Memphis, wherever, Louisiana, wherever I'm at, you know, you acknowledge somebody because you don't want them to rob you. It's like you come in peace. It's like when the knights used to tip their, you know, helmets, whatnot. That's, you know, that's what the nod is about. It's like, I come in peace. If not, and you don't acknowledge somebody, you might get got. I'm coming from and taking it from a, a, a real juvenile perspective. Someone say, you don't, if I'm not acknowledged, let me harm you. If you're not my brother, let me harm you. You're, you're an enemy. And it's always easier, no matter, you know, white, black, or Asian or whatnot, to do crime and harm within your community. Statistically proven, that the not in Seattle just doesn't happen. Um, it's not for the majority of people. And there are some good here, you know, black folk. There's some good black folk, but you got to find those pockets and you got to rock with those people and they're not easy to find. Um, I think the last that I saw said there were like 150,000 black folk. And keep in mind that is, you know, everybody, um, immigrants and, you know, immigrants really, um, they find their pockets wherever they go. Ethiopians always find their pockets. Nigerians always find their pockets. They build up churches, businesses, and communities. So for the black American, I find your pocket when you're in, you respect, love with everyone else. You know, I don't want to say keep it moving, but if they show you that they're not black or they're not interested in community building, you got to keep it moving. I meet homeless people who black folk, young women, usually single mothers who tell me they're colorblind and, you know, who knows what type of trauma they've been through, but that they're colorblind and they're, you know, in Seattle and they came to date whoever. And it's like, but you're homeless. Like, you know, you're homeless. And being colorblind is fine, but you don't acknowledge me as a black man. You know, I've had someone um, try to help get, get some work and they're like, why are you helping me? I said, you know, your situation, you, you are who you are, you're in the tribe. And they're like, what does that have to do with it? So there's no not in Seattle and it's just the way it is. And, you know, I get along with everybody, but I always have to acknowledge that we always have to try to pull each other up. If we don't, we are forever going to be lower class America. And it's not because of anything, but that we don't know how to build communities that we don't do like the Asians and build up cities. There's people out here. There's an Africa town in Seattle. If you're coming to Seattle, check it out. 
But, you know, it, it, it's taken um, a lot for them brothers to try to build it up. There's great organizations like Here Seattle, Hack Nation. Um, I mentioned Africa Town. That's also an, um, an organization. You have to find your pocket and people who actually like people. And there's a lot of people that I've talked to and seen. They say, you know, I came to Seattle because I don't like people being on my own. They're like the type who go buy robots to, you know, be in partnership with. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I kid you not, man. People have got robots and all type of toys, and they're happy being, um, you know, single and lonely. That's that. No, not in Seattle. It's just the way it is. I'm killing cash. Like, subscribe, share. If you're coming to Seattle, we'd love to hear from you.